Marita. Uh, today we will discuss about the prayers for special occasions. Uh, in our previous class we discussed about uh, some of the Sunnah prayers and uh, under it we discussed about the Doha prayer, Kabliya and Bardiya prayer and also uh, the Jama'ah, Salat al Jama'ah or the Congregational prayer. We also looked at the conditions for praying Salat al Jama'ah and also the importance of Salat al Jama'ah. So today we'll discuss about the prayers for special occasion and I will start with the Salat al Musafir. First of all, we uh, say for the special occasion, this is a special time. It's not a usual time, any time, but it's a special, there's something that's happened or in a, a special uh, occasion and it's a, a Muslim because we cannot uh, just forget about the Salah then he is, uh, the Muslim can pray or can do a particular uh, prayers or perform particular prayers because it is a special occasion. So we we'll start with the Salah al Musafir. What is this Salat al Musaf that we are talking about? So, in uh, the Arabic language, a uh, traveler is known as a uh, Musafir. So, Salat al Musafir, so the Musafir, it is an Arabic word uh, for traveler. Uh, but in the context of a special prayer, a Musafir is a Muslim who set out intending to travel for more than 77 kilometers regardless of the mode of travel. So it doesn't matter which means are you uh, traveling with. So uh, as far as you're traveling for, uh, more, uh, for uh, more than 77 kilometers, then you are included in this category. That's you are a um, Musafir and you are allowed to pray this particular uh, or type of a prayer because it is a special occasion. So, uh, the Muslim is regarded a Musafir the moment he comes out of the boundaries of his own or type or town or his own town or city. So, as far as one uh, comes out from uh, his city, the boundaries of his city or town, then he is regarded as a Musafir. Uh, during traveling, a Muslim may not be in the position to offer the prayers in the normal way due to the conditions experienced in the journey. So, because uh, he, uh, the Musafir, the uh, traveler, uh, is not uh, in a, uh, a situation whereby he can perform the normal prayers, the normal rakahs that are there, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not left out uh, his favors and has given the Muslims travelers privilege which include Salat and Musafir. So this, is, uh, this prayer can be performed in three ways. These are Jamal Takti, Jamal Takhir and Qasr. We will talk about each one of uh, these ways. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when you travel through the earth there is no blame on you if you shorten the prayers for fear the unbelievers may attack you for the unbelievers are unto enemies so that is according to chapter 4 verse 104 so let's listen let's listen to this verse وَإِذَا ضَرَبْتُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَلَيْسَ عَلَيْكُمْ جُنَاحٌ أَن تَقْصُرُوا مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ إِنْ خِفْتُمْ إِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَن يَفْتِنَكُمُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِنَّ الْكَافِرِينَ كَانُوا لَكُمْ عَدُوًّا مُّبِينًا وَإِذَا كُنْتَ فِيهِمْ فَأَقَمْتَ لَهُمُ الصَّلَاةَ فَلْتَقُمْ Oh, if I'm 
the three fard ayn prayer that is duhr as and insha but for fajr prayer and maghrib prayer you can you have to pray them the way they are the, the way you normally do so let's watch on the uh, the summary of this in our next pass we will watch the summary of uh, Jamal, uh, the Salatul Musafir prayer.